Social media can be very deceiving. And if you measure your real life by what other people choose to post, you will live your whole life angry and disappointed at yourself. The perfect world that is sold on social media does not exist in real life. In real life, people have stretch marks. In real life, people have wrinkles. And this is not how an armpit looks in real life. This is not how nails and fingers look in real life. Just because your favorite influencer posts pictures with flat tummy and big butt, it does not mean that's how they look in real life. Those people are taking professional pictures with professional cameras and lightnings. Do not ever feel like you are not beautiful enough just because you are measuring your real life with fake Instagram standards. We call it Instagram standards for a reason and that is because they do not exist in real life or they are not that exciting in real life. As much as we enjoy following people with good pictures on Instagram, we must be vigilant and protect ourselves and our image. Just love your body the way you are. Dress yourself nice, clean and comfortable. Wear your makeup if you want to, but do not ever compare yourself to the lies that are sold on Instagram. Those people are advertising products and are getting paid to lie. Influencer Thick Leonce joined the campaign exposing the truth behind the filters. On Instagram, she posted her real versus retouched pictures along with this caption. As a child, I spent a lot of time collecting and going through magazines. I loved cutting my clothes, exploring with fashion and makeup, and that creativity led to a career in photography and later as an influencer and content creator. I've been sharing my photos on Instagram for 10 years and so much has changed over the years. From sharing candid, fun pictures having to, to having to curate professional content which in the past hair was mostly more common for magazine or billboards. But now professionally captured and retouched images have become regular Instagram posts, which has arguably created worse relationship with our physical appearance. Over the past two days, I attended a digital summit and listening to other people's stories about how Instagram beauty standards have played a major role in their body image have made me self-reflect. Standards of beauty have always existed. Photo retouching has always existed and it has played a major role in body image issues. Unlike before when popular retouching softwares like Adobe Photoshop were inaccessible and too complex to use, we are now living in an Instagram influenced world where retouching is more common and easier to learn and access. Presets, filters and retouching apps seem harmless because they are found to use and they allow us and want to be creative and experiment with their photos. However, they can be also damaging when they are used to digitally distort the way that we look. They can lead to an obsessive search for the unobtainable perfect shot. In my self-love journey, I've learned that it's important for my self-portraits to always be a reflective of the girl in the mirror. We don't all have to have that our glass bodies or extra smooth skin. Let's normalize seeing skin textures on photographs. Stretch marks are normal. Cellulite is normal. Discoloration is normal. Hips dips are normal. You are normal. You are beautiful. Hulisani Ravel, the broadcaster grounded in purpose, joined in the movement, posting her real pictures versus the retouched pictures along with this caption. Have you ever touched up a picture because you didn't look perfect? I've learned that whilst filtering and retouching apps are a lot of fun to use, they are also having a devastating impact on self-esteem of young girls. I've seen it with my own younger cousins. They sit forever taking what feels like hundreds of selfies and then jump on to all sorts of apps zooming in and out, fixing, fixing this and that to perfect their look. 
sometimes they are even using multitudes of apps at once this app for layer and one of perfection and another app to make it just right she continued to urge adult people to continue having conversations about self-image and photo editing with their young girls otherwise no one else will do comment down below